Uhuru Kenyatta. In the report, the commission has listed about 500 persons and organizations that they say uh, should either be further investigated, should never hold public office, having been widely mentioned by the victims of historical injustices. The commission recommends that the president, within six months of the issuance of this report, offer a public and unconditional apology to the people of Kenya for all injustices and gross violations of human rights committed since independence. The commission recommends that the judiciary apologizes to the people of Kenya for failing to address impunity effectively and perform its role of deterrence to prevent the perpetration of gross human rights violations during the period between 12th December 1963 and 28th February 2008 where the commission finds that between 1963 and 2012, Presidents Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Moi, and Mwai Kibaki presided over governments that were responsible for numerous gross violations of human rights that included assassinations, massacres, detentions, and land grabbing. President Uhuru Kenyatta says the government is committed to deepening the healing and reconciliation process in the country. President Kenyatta says his government will take the recommendations of the report seriously while its content will be made public. Well, right. KTN's Rita Tinina begins our coverage with this development. Following a year-long tour of the country for hearings into human rights violations and historical injustices, the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission has released its 2,210-page report. The report, made up of four volumes on issues such as land, massacres, tortures, economic crimes, ethnic tensions, and political assassinations, was presented to President Uhuru Kenyatta. This is the fruit of the work that this team and others have done. This is our in its findings, the report implicates the Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Moy, and Mwai Kibaki regimes for what he terms as numerous gross violations of human rights. From the Shifta war and political assassinations of Pio Gamapinto, Tom Boya, and J.M. Karioki in the Kenyatta era, massacres, assassinations, including that of Dr. Robert Ouko, and illegal and irregular allocations of land during the Moi rule, to unlawful detentions, extrajudicial killings, economic crimes, and grand corruption during the tenure of Moai Kibaki. The report adversely mentions politicians, prominent businessmen, and provincial administration bosses over varied violations, including torture, massacres, illegal land acquisition, political assassinations, to the 2007-2008 post-election violence. In its recommendations, the report says the president should, within the next six months, offer a public and unconditional apology to Kenyans over injustices and gross violations that occurred between 1963 and the year 2008. The report recommends negotiations and compensation from the British government over atrocities committed during the colonial era. It also calls for further investigations into the murders of, among others, J.M. Karioki, Robert Ouko, Crispin Odhiambombai, and Father Anthony Kaiser. On matters land, the report recommends investigations into illegal or irregular acquisition of land and reparation for historical land injustices. Rita Tinina, KTN. All right, that sort of leads us to a big question, and tonight we ask, do you think perpetrators of historical injustices will ever be prosecuted? Do you think perpetrators of historical injustices will ever be prosecuted? We'll send your yes or no response with a brief comment to the number 8040, and Smart and I will sample your views during this newscast and give you the poll results at the tail end of this bulletin.